Order, please. Let us resume proceeding. Witnesses, we will now retake the stand. <laughs> For testimony. I presume you heard the defense counsel's summation examinations? Oh, yeah, governor. I did, Gov, I did. Mr. and Mrs. Gawkins. Corbrimi. This is going to be hard work. Earlier in this trial, you gave the following statement, a testimony, <laughs> about your action after you entered Windy Banks. Well, it was Bethlehem soon, as... weren't it? It was, Nash, it was. You don't even have time to pull me looped out mean Lucy Lockets. However, that was a lie. Your brothers... Call Brimi. What's Call Brimi mean? On the night in question, you referred to... You refer... Refer... Refer through the items on the victim's counter. We never done nothing of the sort. How did you figure that out? Oh, they, he just, he just, he just, the, the other guy just, 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 just acknowledged it. He just say, yeah, we did it. <laughs> I was like, oh, what? Da, da, da. You will now give formal testimony once again. You will tell the court precisely what happened on the night in question. And this time, you will tell the truth. Okay. Each lie that passes your lips serve to increase the severity of your punishment. And that, gentlemen, may deal a crushing blow to your chance of ever seeing the light of a day again. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought worth pondering, perhaps. Say no more, Goff. I heard you. We'll blade. We squirk. We peach. <laughs> we peach. Illegal entry, the whole truth. Okay. Now he's gonna say the truth. Alright, we did knock a few things over, but we weren't referring refer for nothing. It was when we heard the gunshots, see, make us both jump, and all that stuff went flying. Lummy. He didn't have. He didn't have given me a fright. We were thinking the shooter came out the door and get us next. We stuck everything back where we found it and scrapled straight into the uh, straight into him in the black. Him in the black. We're gonna have shoot the prom broker, see? We couldn't ne we never even had a chance, did we? Hmm, so we made to the defense accusation. You did indeed ransack Mr. Windybank's countertop on the night in question. Uh, not ransack, Governor, no. <laughs> That's right, Nash. That's right. It's more like we tidy it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. That's true. You touch it, move it a little bit, and then you put it back. <laughs> and that's true. Uh, sorry. By their own admissions, these brothers entered the pawnbrokery under dubious con circumstances. However, they panic and flee on hearing the gunshot, having first made good their mess. The way you say it, we hardly sound like Lodge at all. We don't, Nash, we don't. Can't... Can he make us sound a little bit more cutthroat? It can't just be cons coincidence that these men show up at Minibanks that night. There are more to their testimony than meets the eye, I'm sure of it. Okay. Alright, we did knock a few things over, but we weren't referring for nothing. Okay. If that's the case, then why didn't you testify to the fact in the first place? Well, you know, we aren't exactly squeaky clean, are we? We ain't, Nash, we ain't. If we admitted to something like that, people would think we was up to no good. No good. Well said, Ringo. Meow China. Meow China. 
we we di we did only land ourselves in even more trouble. Okay. And in fact, now as a result of lying in your previous testimony, that's exactly what you have done. Land yourself in even more trouble. Ah uh, well, um, that's rotten luck. Says the rotten upper eater. <laughs> Weaknesses. Explain your action to the court. Why did you ransack the victim's counter? We never ransacked nothing. Right, Nash, right. More like we tidy the place up. This <laughs> is <It's> stress. <laughs> Where did you get stress? Oh, sorry. So what you are saying is The sound of the gunshot struck you so much you knock all those things off the court counter Well it struck one of us that much, yeah This bag of nerves need to learn to keep his shirt on Well he just take off his clothes and <laughs> look Look it was loud right? Believe me we dead granny would have woken up at that bang Big birth here scream like a blooming baby and fell over on the counter and knock over a lot of books a candlestick and some skull whatnot that got tangled in some marionette who knock over a picture frame who knock them scales on the floor you are really messed you have really messed up working quietly then <laughs> what a wreck what a racket me granny would have been scared back into her grave at a crater like that. So in short, the gunshot took you by surprise. And then some. I mean, it was quiet as a mouse and then all of a sudden, bam. Okay. Me. Inspector Gregson, do you have something to add? Like I keep saying, I don't appreciate being lumped in with these grounders. No, something's to add about their testimony. <laughs> you seem to react just now at what Mr. Skull King said. Did it make you think of something? It's probably nothing, of course. I wouldn't even bother to mention it, only. Well, the fact is, cases don't get solved if you ignore the little details. How about you just tell us what's on your mind? As you know, we brought these felons into the yard for questioning last night. And the statement they gave then told a slightly different story to what they are saying now. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, um, did it? Oh really? You claimed. You heard the victim shout something out before the gunshot. Might have, Gov, might have. Does ring a bell now you mention it. Granted, it's only a minor details, but still. I can't help feeling like perhaps you've been a bit sloppy with the testimony here, eh, hey, fellas? If I discovered the witness testimony has been any more sloppy than it has hit here to proven to, I shall be forced to bring the very harsh punishment to bear against them. Easy, easy. <laughs> We're getting right this time. That is, yep, yeah, it's all coming back to me now. What is, that? Tell us the truth, then speak. So I don't have to keep doing cross-examination with all you bunch. <laughs> Supplement your testimony with whatever details has mir miraculously returned to your questionable mind, sir. Mm, hey, hey. Right you are, Guff. Just before the gunshot, we heard a voice yelling out, Give me the gun! Give me the gun! Okay. So in fact, you had the voice and the gunshot almost simultaneously. We did, Gov, we did. Although, I suppose if you're being honest, we heard a kind of wavering voice before the yell and all. Okay. If, if you don't wanna get shot, give me that gun. Bang. Kind of thing. They are lying because the gunshot is from the back. A career in acting tragically miss. <laughs> and where were the voices coming from? Could you tell? 
course we could. From the other side of that room behind the counter it was. From the storeroom, where the victim was found dead. And the voices you heard, it was that of the victim, Mr. Windbank. On my granny's life, of course it was. On granny, on his, on his granny's life, of course it was. <laughs> <laughs> so that would mean that you both knew Mr. Winnebank and the sound of his voice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they know. Yeah, that's true. Damn. He got him. I don't even notice that as well. Oh, so that would mean what? What, Nash? What? Any idea? Yes, console. Indeed, it would. Nah, nah, nah. We, we didn't know the geezer. How am I supposed to deny it when that look in all that fancy clover gave us the evil eye? And all that fancy clover? If you value your lives, you will ensure your testimony is accurate and true. On, on my granny life, it is. On, on his granny life, it must be. <laughs> it's a good job his granny is dead. <laughs> to summarize, then immediately after hearing the voice of the victim, you then hear the gunshot. Causing you to stumble and upset the thing items on the counter, scattering them over the shop floor. You make it sound like we're clumsy. Don't forget we tidy it up after like good little boys. Anyway, is the way I see it. Okay, we will come back to the second statement. Test the, the statement later. Okay. You're saying that Middle Minibank has a gun in his can. Oh yeah. Bet that was the sight, eh? Them two waving them guns at each other must have gone pretty heated. I mean, just before he shot out, we heard the geezer say, If you don't want to get shot. A shot. <clears throat> Didn't really sound like he meant it. Mine more of an empty thread, you could say. Mr. Winterback was known to keep a revolver on his shop counter at all times. People say that to protect the articles in his keeping, he did readily put a bullet in someone's head if required. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, no, it's, it's someone's head, it's his own head. It's his own. He planning to suicide to scare off the the, the, the theft, I guess. <laughs> that's someone being himself, of course. Yeah, that's yes, yeah, that's that's correct. Good grief. Extraordinary devotion indeed, if alarmingly misguided. Well, he suddenly sound like he was ready to pull the trigger the other, the other night. Only the person was gonna shoot beat him to it. Cook is goose proper. But I wish he squeezed the trigger instead of wasting time shouting, and give me the gun. <laughs> and it was directly after those words that you heard the gunshot. It was more or less at the same time, Gov. Give me the gun! And bang, and then he did. Kind of thing. But the position uh, is uh, not right though. Yes, a career in acting, very tragically, miss. Then we heard the shout of someone hitting the deck. Before everything went dead quiet. After that, we done a slap dash jump tidy the place up. Okay. Do me that fright was thinking I should have to come out the door next. So, you didn't try to open the storeroom door then? Not on your life. It went deadly quiet after that, it did. Put the wind right up me. But anyway, the door was locked, weren't it? No way that was open. Thing. Yes, of course. It was locked from the inside, or so we have been led to believe. It was, girl, it was. From the inside. Right, so we had no way of knowing what, what's going on in there, did we? Unless there was some sort of way to get a view of the inside of the storm. Like through the keyhole or a spy hole, perhaps. 
Don't ring no bells. No light. No don't lights. Don't light no lights. We had to cut and run before we noticed anything like that. Okay. We're still cutting our teeth in this game. See, one by one day. We already cut. We have really cut the mustard. Please cut it out. <laughs> But as we know, behind that door was the victim's lifeless body, with the accused not two feet away. Yes, unfortunately. Gina was in there, unconscious, with the gun in her hand. To confirm, would it be correct to say that neither of you set foot inside the soul? That's right, Garth. That's right. Couldn't have even if we had wanted to. Yes, whereupon you fire a shot from your own gun at Mr. Herlock Holmes. Oh, um, yeah, um, we was a bit hasty there. We was, Nash, we was. Truth be told, I was already shaking like a leaf when your lord turned up. If you're shaking like a leaf, don't put a loaded gun in your hand. Good, good advice, miss, good advice. Truth be told, me mind went totally blank. Before your mind goes totally away, make sure you don't have a load of guns in your head. <laughs> a mental note, note made nervous. <laughs> After that, we legged it down the street, but apparently we looked dodgy to the coppers or some mats, so they clapped the babies on us like winkets. Okay, wait. And after you've been law, you've been handcuffed. The police found this robot in your possession, correct? Okay. Um. Well, yeah. But listen, the proofs that proves it done done it, eh? We're gonna have shoot pawnbrokers still. Let's just see. I hate it when he just put his face out when he have to say anything. <laughs> the green guy with the large ass face. <laughs> and why should we believe that? At uh, what? Well, cause it's true, in it. The place was totally empty when we went in. At that time, the victim was already in the storeroom, having been forced to open the door by the accused who had a gun onto his hand. To his head, sorry. In other words, on the night in question, these two witnesses never even laid eyes on the proprietor of the brown brokery, Mr. Windybank. Correct? Yeah, got it, mister. Down to a T. Hmm. So the Skull King brothers never actually encountered Mr. Windybank. Is that really true, I wonder? That's it? That's the full extent of their testimony? What is it, Runo? You look very fierce. I could pour you some herbal tea if you're tired. <laughs> oh, thank you, but I'm fine. Being such a logical thinker, you probably love. But I feel as though this brother is still hiding something. Something important. It is nothing more than a feeling though. I have no proof to support it. Hmm. Well, feeling can be very logical at times. Sorry? Prepare expressions, the movement of their eyes, the words they choose. The words they choose. You can take all that in and your brain will quietly analyze it to come up with a feeling like you described. They have concluded that there is something suspicious about this testimony without knowing why, that's all. I think you should trust your instinct. Irish, thank you. Sometimes I think if she's 10 years old, I might be 5. I must be 5. Can I have this? Um. Autopsy, right? I have the autopsy report. Single bullet wound in upper half of the victim's back. No other visible sign of trauma. A visible... A 
Until the body from the back on a gently rising diagonal trajectory. Okay. Okay, so probably I can use this, right? Probably I could use this. No, no. <laughs> when they are acting as like they're shooting from the front. Where is that topsy again? Okay. There's clearly something odd about the last statement made by the witness. There's clearly something odd here indeed. Your behavior can't so odd. Oh, I'm, I'm wrong. Oh shit. Oh, please don't mind me. It was something a bit easier if you would lower your hand. <laughs> oh shit. I won't lower my hand now until I put my client in. As long as quiet down quick, quite quick. So I just have to press more information then, I guess. Okay, wait, give me a second. I'm I just gonna check back. Wait. Um. So the sub the scout kick brothers never actually encountered Mr. Windbank. Is that really true? I wonder. Maybe I just have to keep pressing for information because I don't really know I have anything other than other than the autopsy report. I don't think I have anything else. I I don't think I have anything else to to prove anything. Yeah. Okay. Although I suppose if you're being honest, we heard a kind of weird sound before you tell a yeah and all. If if you don't want to get shot, give me the gun. Bang. Kind of thing. So can I present it now? No, I cannot. Okay. I couldn't do that. Okay, sure. Okay, turn it in waste. You tell, of course, because from the other side of the room behind the counter it was. From the storeroom where the victim was found dead. It was to her. It was that of the victim in the bank. Because it was. Because it was. So that would mean. They both knew Winterback. Mr. Winterback and the sound of his voice. What? No, not what? Any idea? That's because I indeed would. No, no, we didn't know the geezer. I was supposed to deny it. When that block is all the fancy corporate give us the evil look. But then how do they know how they shoot the gun though? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. okay, I get it, I got it. I'm up to no good, yeah. We're gonna go with Ch China, we only land ourselves in more trouble. Yeah, that's true, and in fact, as it reads out, lying in your previous testimony, basically what you have done, land yourself in even more trouble. Oh, well, um, mm, that's rotten luck, okay. Say the rotten apple. Witnesses, explain your action to the court, why do you ransack? The victim's counter. We never ransack nothing. Right, Nash, right. 
tidy place up. And then he just gave me a look, I'm sorry. Okay. You are saying that Mr. Windbank had a gun in his hand. Oh yeah, bet that was a sight, eh? Them two waving them gun at each other must have got pretty heated. I mean, just before he shouted out, we heard the geezer say, If you don't wanna get shot. I mean, just before he shouted out, we heard the geezer say, If you don't wanna get shot, give me the gun. Sounds like he meant it, mine. More of an empty threat, you could say. Mr. Winnipeg was known to kill revolver in his shop counter at all times. People say to protect the article is a cow but pull the bullet itself. That's someone being himself, of course. Good grief. Certain devotion did. He's not making misguided. Well, suddenly it sounds like what's really to pull the trigger out of night. Only the person who's gonna shot hit him to it. Book is goes proper. Bet he wish he squeezed the trigger instead of wasting time shot and give me the gun. <laughs> and it was directly after those words that you heard the gunshot. It was more or less at the same time, Guff. Give me the gun. Bang. Kind of thing. Yes, a career in acting very charged looking like miss. I heard the gunshot something hit the bank. Not everything before everything went that quiet. Right after that, we done a slap dash job tidying the place up. Yeah, you run. Okay, the gun doesn't do anything for me. The crime scene not gonna do anything for me, right? Yep. That's not gonna do anything for me. So you didn't try to open the storeroom door then. Not on your left. It went deadly quiet after that, it did. Put the wind right up me. But anyway, the lock was locked, wasn't it? No way that was opening. Yes, of course, it was locked from the inside, also we've been let to leave, leave. It was, Gov, it was from the inside. Right, there is no way of knowing, no way of going there, do we? Unless there was some other way to get a view of something inside of the storm, and then they say they don't notice this because they just ran off. Okay. Yeah, kind of run before we notice anything like that. We're still cutting our teeth in this game, you see, by one day. We're ready to cut. Master. Please cut it out. <laughs> As you know, Victor's lifeless body with the kills not two feet away. Yes, unfortunately, yeah. Joe was there and cautious with a gun in her hand. Yeah, that's true. You can probably be correct to say neither of you set foot inside the store. That's right, Goth. That's right. Couldn't have even couldn't have even if we wanted to. Yes. Whereupon you fire a shot at your from your own gun at Mr. Holock Shrooms. Oh, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Truth to be told, check out like a leaf and the lot turn up. Okay. Totally blank before my told to make sure you don't have a loaded gun in your hand. Yeah, mental note mates, nice. Okay. But apparently, we'll look dodgy on the copper of some metal clap the diabetes on us like winking. After that, you may have come to police. Found this rubber in projection, correct? Um, well, yeah. But listen, that proof it, done it, eh? See, we never have a chance to redeem my right? And why should we believe that? Eh, what? Well, cause it's true, isn't it? The place was totally empty when he went in. Wait. At that time, the victim was in the storeroom, having been forced to open the door by the killers who had a gun in his head. 
In other words, on the night in question, these two witnesses would never lay ever lay eyes on the proprietor of the pawn broker, Mr. Windebank. Correct? You got it, mister. Now to the T. Hmm. So the Skull King brothers never actually encountered Mr. Windebank. Is that really true, I wonder? So we have to find something... That's it? That's the full extent of their testimony? We have to find something that proves that they saw Mr. Windebank, I guess. What is it, Runo? You know where it feels. I could pour you some tea if you're tired. Oh, thank you, but I'm fine. Being such a logical thinker, you might probably love, but I feel so... But I still hiding something something important. It's nothing more than a feeling, though. I have no proof to support it. Hmm, well, feeling can be a very logical at times. Okay, expression, the truth, and feeling you describe. Not knowing that all. I think you should trust your instinct. I wish, thank you. Right, then you almost five. I need something to prove that they are there. They saw Mr. Windybank. So how do I, how can I use this? You have to pop your two prints in there to start with, you see. And then when you look through the eyepiece, you can see the image in three dimensions. The important thing is to get it right in the position of the two prints. I don't know who came up with the idea of stereoscope, but it's really quite fascinating. Oh, I couldn't use it? Oh, I couldn't use it now? Could I? Hey, can I... Oh, look at that. It's totally changed shape. Just from one little button press. Well, this is what the button for, you know. You just like Hurley. You boys love pressing buttons, don't you? Especially if you don't know what they do. You bought us boys, say 10 year old girl. Anyway, now you can see that it really is a stereoscope, can't you? Yeah. Can I use it? You have to pop your two prints in here to start with you, you see. And then when you look through the type paste, I don't know who came up with that, that's kind of fascinating. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is just gonna say the same thing then, then, right? So it doesn't really do much for me. No, it doesn't really do much for me. Maybe this picture will prove something? Bam 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 Okay, that's the thought. I'm like, oh, but there's something there. Oh, it's like yellow. It's just the time. Fuck. Hmm. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. This is... This is broken. Okay, we have one broken land. But does it prove anything? It is... It did, they did know... We did know they are there at the counter trying to touch stuff, right? But this doesn't prove anything yet. This doesn't do anything for us. The land doesn't do anything. We do know they are at the counter. They hear them yelling and the gunshots. So they must be close. Hmm. And the keyhole is... Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Or maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. Who would have touched the view then if... You know, this, you see, if you see this, this doesn't have the square thing. Yeah, probably it's this. The photo then. It probably is the photo then.
Her voice yelling out, give me that gun. No one will borrow her the gun so you have fire instead of yelling at the girl. Fry will losing. We start every when we found the scout punch straight into my back. We could have shot the broken see we didn't have a chance, did we? Um maybe it's this, I think. Hopefully this is correct, I would say. The minion slug statement is clearly at odds with this piece of evidence. No. Oh, it's not. Really? I know, sorry, console, but I'm afraid to see the connection. Oh. And for heaven's sake, would you kindly dismiss from the wide eye panic stricken look you are wont to wear? But it's the only panic stricken look I know. Okay. Huh. Okay, so what. Yeah, this, this, this is just mm, the same thing, I would say. And the last statement, it was the last statement that they said that he couldn't really, they couldn't even really see him, even if they wanted to. Okay. Is that the case, when the test by take place in the first place? Okay. We will know where exactly is quickly, now we? Something like that. People would think we were up to no good. And a lot of stuff even more trouble. Mrs. Explain your action to call. Why did you ransack a victim's counter? Maybe it's this. Maybe I can use it on this statement. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. We never ransack or nothing. Explain your action to the call. Why do you ransack the victim's counter? We never ransack nothing. It's more like we tidy the place up. Oh, sorry. I mean, I mean, we did knock over, all right, we did knock over a few things over, but we didn't refer nothing. So. So this is correct then. Okay, that that this is correct then because that statement makes sense, I guess. Because the second picture we have stuff is is broken then. Uh, we heard a voice yelling, "Give me the gun." Yelling give me the gun. Do I do I do I miss something?
So we should have fire rather than calling the old gun. Okay, let's just hear this two statement again. <laughs> so in fact, you heard the voice of the gunshot almost simultaneously. We did, God, we did. Although I suppose, if you're being honest, we could kind of wavering voice before the yell and all. If you're being honest, we heard a kind of vibrant voice before the yell and all. If, if you don't want to get shot, give me that gun. Bam. Kind of thing. A current acting treasury, yes. Good tell. Of course we could. From the other side of the room behind the counter it was. The story where the victim was found dead. And the voices you hear, it was that of the victim, Mr. Windebank. Okay, there are two statements that do the same thing, right? Did I did it because I used choose the wrong statement? <laughs> so that would mean that we both knew Mr. Windebank and the sound of his voice. Should we try it again? <laughs> I feel like I could try it again on the second statement. I can't find anything out of place. I... I... Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's Mr. Windebank. I read a pink voice, how awful. For jeez, genie, I mean. My trauma line would be, this charge diver is the, the do-goder, right? Yeah, something like that. It's possible. I'd like to go even bigger. Bigger? How? Property pocket protects planet post trials. Perhaps protects planet? Oh, I can't wait for tomorrow now. It's going to be so great. Oh, what's this? The yeah, sensational story lowered down the photo page. Well, look, Minister Mo? Classified secrets may have been leaked overseas from Minister of Justice. Oh, it's from Strongheart? From, from, from Strongheart? From a 10 year old. I will certainly have her finger on the pulse of world news. It is about secret communication between Great Britain and its allies. Apparently, they are being intercepted by hostile and nation. Oh, okay. Communication are being intercepted? But how would somebody be doing that? That's the question, isn't it? I come up with three different possible methods so far. Are you looking for a new career, Runo? <laughs> what? No, of course not. I wonder, perhaps this is what Lord Strongheart was talking about yesterday. Yes, it could be. 
And you could explain why he has Grixie running from pillar to post at the moment. Okay. Luckily, this doesn't have anything to do with what we are trying to investigate on the on the scene. If not, I'll be I'll be I'll be lost. No? <laughs> because I not 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 lost, but because I really didn't give a shit any shit about the newspaper. <laughs> Okay, this is the only thing I can think of, right? This is the second thing I can think of. That's all. I couldn't really think of anything else. Um... Or anything else that I could use. Okay. Um Okay, we try on the third one, right? Is it? We tried on the third one last time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah give me a second. Oh I couldn't really see it back now. Oh shit, I forget which one it is now. <laughs> Wait, give me a second. I just gotta check the second one. Wait. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. Yeah, this is this is the one. Yeah, the second one. Okay, okay. We try it again on the second one. I will say. I feel like it's just gonna it's just gonna be like no they have nothing they have nothing in 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 connection there's no connection between the two Yeah, let's try. Uh, let, let's let's try. Let's try. Let's try this. Oh no, I don't want to press. I I keep, I press the wrong button. Fucking hell. I don't want to press. <laughs> you keep doing the same scene to me. <laughs> this is the one I want to prove that is not true. But he did, okay, he did say is wait, 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 give me a second. Okay, they did, they did the position though. But they didn't say they saw it, I guess. Wait, wait a second, wait, 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 wait a second. I think I feel like it's a, a it's a bait, but uh oh. Hey, what? Ah, that's the wrong button.
What? What happened? I feel like it's a bait, but let's just try it. Because this, the third one is the same thing, and then it didn't work. It didn't work for the third statement. Objection. The last statement. Namely, you say? And look at you. Yeah, this is not. This is not gonna do it. Yeah, palace expression. Yeah, expression. <laughs> oh, oh. It seems to me that is the damning inconsistency here. With the misplaced confidence of your assertion. <laughs> God damn it. He has a damning tongue. Invite it, sir. I have two left. God damn it, I have two left. Yeah, that's what I said. It's kinda... It's kinda... Okay, maybe I have to think about it from another perspective, I would say. Okay. Or maybe I just gotta press for information. But I really press for information. I didn't really know. Um. Hold it. This is hard. This is hard. This is hard. It's harder than the summation examination, I would say. Was it protecting in shock? I wonder, trying to keep this article safe? It's gonna be the same, yeah, it's gonna be the same, okay. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Okay, that's weird. Hmm. 
And that's the same thing. Uh, that's just the same thing then. Okay, now I really have no idea now. Hmm. Don't tell me that I need to use a photographic print, right? I um, hope not, I hope not. I'm just gonna listen to... Okay, um, um, nah. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not because I used the wrong evidence and then it fucked me up. Uh, okay, let's try this. Let's have a fire on gun and my uh, Mr. Polo shows. Um, yeah, we were pretty hasty there. Rewards, truth to be told, or it's shaking like a leaf, maybe a lot turned up. Mm-hmm, yep. Being forced to open the door by the accused who had a gun to his head. Am I become am I being more dumb now? Or well, I just not seeing it? <laughs> am I just not seeing it? Maybe it's just there. Am I not just seeing it? Yeah, like I said, the first one, and we could still think of the image, but it's not gonna do anything because the statement really say knock out a few things, but we weren't refer for nothing, so we couldn't we couldn't really say anything. 
And then the ticket, the code is already there. there. Yeah, I really couldn't think of anything to be honest. <laughs> Um, oh shit. No, Windy Bank? How is this? Okay, okay, yeah, that the first encounter. You had an encounter Windy Bank and then a new Windy Bank. Okay. Okay, I just gotta wing it. Okay, you know what? I'm still gonna think it's just because I used the wrong evidence on <laughs> the second and third evidence. So, because the other thing it just doesn't really worth anything, or I don't even have any proof to prove it. So, Sarah then immediately after hearing the voice of the victim, you then hear the gunshot. Causing you to stumble and upset items on the counter, scatter them all over the shop floor. Yeah, make it sound like we're clumsy. Don't forget we tied it up with that good. That's anyway, the way I see it. Okay, I just gotta listen it back again, listen one more time. And if we have no clue, I just gotta bring it again. No, we're just gonna try it. You're saying that Mr. Windbank has a gun in his hand? Oh yeah, that that was a sight, eh? Wait. Oh, Windy Bank has a gun in his hand. Okay.
Do my images have like his hand? Yes, he doesn't have anything in his hand. Okay. Okay, I think I can use this. Wait, 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 give me a second. Maybe it's this. Oh my god, my English fucked me. <laughs> I just didn't rec I didn't read correctly. Oh my brain fucked me. To be precise. Okay, let's... Let's just try, let's just try, let's just try. Let's just try. Let's just try, let's just try, let's just try, let's just try. Okay, okay, I was right. Okay, so you're saying... I'm a dumbass. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. The no, night in question victim is the window bag was building a gun, is that correct? Yes! That's good. You got the picture. He's Nash, he's no question. I'm the dumbass. And yet, photographic evidence obtained immediately after the incident clearly shows that Mr. Windybank was not holding a firearm of any description. Because my mind is just fixed to like, I think I'm I really fixed to like, oh, because he keeps shooting him in the front. And then I'm like, I just ignore everything else. <laughs> okay, we got it. Uh, finally, we got it. What? Gordon Brunette. That ain't right. Okay. There can be no question that the victim's revolver was used in the incident. I would remind the court that Mr. Windbank's gun was found at the scene. Not only was it identified as the murder weapon, but it was found in the accused's hand. Yeah, that mole total used the victim's own gun to finish him off. Give me that gun, and a bang. Kind of thing. Is that exactly where you are? Right there. Eh? If the crime have taken place as you so colorfully described in your testimony, it will give rise to an undeniable and significant inconsistency in the final moment you just act out. Yes, this is the, this is the thing that I keep wanting to point out, but then it's not an- Okay, I- <laughs> and I lost three of my chances here. God damn it. Oh gosh, are you sure, console? My god. <laughs> my little friend. Well, let's see some evidence to support your claim. Where is the proof that demonstrates this in his consistency? Check out final moments. I was trying to get this through, but I couldn't. And then, okay, alright. Take that! <laughs> Take that top CR part! Take it! <laughs> God damn it! What the hell? According to your testimony, the witnesses claim to have heard a shout of Give me that gun, followed by the gunshot. Indeed, with the two events happened almost simultaneously, also we have been led to believe. And then the just keeps saying, Yeah, it's not. Yes, that's right. Now, if the te testimony is true, it would mean that at the moment of death, the victim and his stacker would have been facing each other. However, in the autopsy report, it clearly states that the victim died instantly after being shot from behind. Yeah. So, as I started before, uh, as I stated before, there is an undeniable inconsistency in your testimony, Mr. and uh, Mr. Skull King. Yeah, take that. Oh my god. But, 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 it's the God's own truth. It is, Nash, it is. When we was shoot last night, their shopkeeper had a gun in his hand. We saw it with our own bleeding eyes. That heard you right just now. You actually saw Mr. Windbank holding a gun. Um, some mud like that might have split up. Ladies and gentlemen, you have all just heard the admission by these two witnesses. That on the night in question, they actually saw with their own eyes the victim building a gun. Which can only meant that despite their testimony to be contrary, the Skull King brothers must have encountered the victim in person. Ah, um, um, uh, Nash, um, yeah, you're fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you fucked up. Order, order, order. Witnesses, explain yourself at once. 
Well, the thing is, it weren't supposed to, um... Okay, <laughs> it just gave me the death staring. It will seem that my previous warning fell on deaf ears. I made it so quite clear that false weakness would be the death of you. Am I to understand that you placed the untruth of your original testimony with new renewed lies? Um, ever so sorry, Governor. Truth is, see, we, um... Cut it out, Nash. Cut it out. If it bad now, you know we'll, what he would do to us. He? What are they talking about? Let me make your position here perfectly clear. You talk, there is no other option available to you. Bruh, come on. The game's up. But, but, have... You have our guts for gatters. What the... the what is that? In case it hasn't quite sucked in yet. No matter how hard you try to hide it, the truth will always come uh, the truth will come out. Um and the night in question, is it now apparent that your brother meet face to face with the victim? I demand that you testify again to explain the precise circumstances under which this meeting took place. Um well Do we have to? On pain of death I suggest you make yourself fully aware that this is your very last chance to tell the truth. Alright, so we just got inside the golf and have a sight of relief when the gear shot. It's Mug. Give me the gun, this fellow, and then flew at us like he was possessed. I thought he had him. For an old geezer, the blue was strong as an ox. It chucked me over the counter. I put my gun on him. And then he laid it through the door into the back room. We never have nothing to do with killing him. That was what a pants, I swear. So you are now telling us that the moment before the victim was killed in the story. In fact, encounter him in the mind part of the shop. Um, well, yeah, sorry. Well, we find ourselves at an interesting juncture. This changes matter considerably. But our honest governor, this time. This time, Nash, this time. We ain't got nothing more to hide. Very well. Console for the defense, you may proceed with your S cross examination. And I may proceed to cough the stream. <laughs> I need to go. This is it, the moment I've been waiting for. Okay. Encounter with the victim. Okay.